I'm Hana from the community team here at Miro. And today I'm gonna to show you how to clean up your Miro board to turn it into a reusable template for Miroverse. If you don't already know, Miroverse is a library of thousands of community templates created by and for Miro users. We've often heard from template creators that they have several boards that would make great templates to share with the entire Miro community. But when it comes to turning a complex board full of ideas and information into an empty framework, it can be tricky to know where to start. Here, I'll share five tips on how to make this process faster and easier. Tip number one, remove excess information. Start by removing any unnecessary elements from your board, plus any sensitive or proprietary information you won't want others to access. Delete outdated sticky notes, unused frames, comments, and redundant sections. Keep only the essential information that provides context and guides people through the template. If you're unsure which information to keep and which to remove, consider what it might be like for a friend or colleague to use your template. Would they know how to use it without your guidance? If not, you might have removed too much context or your template might require additional instructions. Tip number two, simplify your labels and descriptions. Next, simplify the labels and descriptions to make them clear, concise, and generic enough for others to use. Use descriptive titles for frames and add sticky notes to help add context. Avoid jargon or ambiguous terms that might confuse users. Remember, clarity is key when creating a reusable template. Tip number three, group related elements. Group related elements together to create a logical structure. Use frames or containers to organize content into categories or sections. This makes it easier for users to use the template and find what they need quickly. Tip number four, provide instructions or guidance. Include instructions and guidance to help users understand how to use the template effectively. For example, you can use arrows or numbers as wayfinders to help users navigate through the template and it can prioritize your information. Use text boxes or callouts to provide tips, suggestions, or explanations. This ensures that people know what to do and how to get the most out of your template. You can also use Miro Assist to help generate template instructions to add to your board and to the description during the submission process. Try out different prompts to get good results, like write step-by-step -step instructions for how to use this template for insert use case. And last but not least, tip number five, add a filled out example. Add a completed example to demonstrate your template's use case. This gives users a clear idea of how to use the template and how it can be applied in real life scenarios. You can use screenshots, mock data, or annotations to illustrate different use cases without revealing any sensitive information. By following these tips, you can transform your best workflows into reusable templates to help millions in the Miro community learn a new way of working. Don't forget to head over to miro.com slash Miroverse to submit your template. That's all. Happy innovating.